Hi, welcome to the 10 minute video summary of the message that was shared at Henrietta Christian Fellowship on the 4th of February, 2024. My name is Don Bold, I'm the pastor of the church. I'd like to take about 10 minutes and share with you some highlights from this past Sunday's message. Okay, we're doing a series on being transformed and uh, we're right now talking about being transformed by the, the word of God, all right? And so um, uh, Psalm 119, uh, 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Okay, not so much an office light so I can uh, study, but uh, but this thing where the idea is after studying, get up, get out, and 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 let light the path before you as you live your life. All right, so I'm going to skip over some uh, material that's in the notes a little bit that before that and go right to James chapter 1, verses 19 through 25. This you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Uh, for the anger of man, the wrath of man, does not achieve the righteousness of God. Therefore, putting aside all filthiness and all that remains of wickedness in humility what receive the word implanted or engrafted which is able to save your souls but prove yourselves to be doers of the word and not merely hearers who delude, delude themselves if you are a person who hears the word and isn't really living it okay you are self-deceived all right and you need to break out of that by becoming a doer you know as you get out there and do it you'll find that your, your understanding appreciation for what god has given you really deepens okay uh, for if anyone's a hearer of the word and not a doer he's like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror for once he has looked at himself and gone away he has immediately forgotten what kind of person he was but the one who looks intently in at the perfect law the law of liberty and abides by it not having become a forgetful hearer but an effectual doer this man will be blessed in what he does okay so that that, that perfect law the law of liberty isn't like just something that just you know this thing I, well i'm not under the law so i can do whatever i wanted no 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 it's a deeper work now that's at, at work in us this law of liberty okay which which sets us free okay so liberty describes uh, those who obey the lord okay disobedience is bondage to sin all right so psalm 119 44 through 45 so i will keep your law continually forever and ever and i will walk at liberty for i seek your precepts okay the freedom is the freedom that we have in the lord all right so romans 6 16 do you not know when you present yourselves uh, to someone as slaves for obedience you are the slaves of the one to whom you obey either of sin resulting in death or of obedience resulting in righteousness but thanks be to god that th though you were slaves to sin you became obedient from the heart to that form of teaching which you were committed and have been freed from sin you became slaves of righteousness okay so psalm 19 verses 7 through 10 the law of the lord is perfect restoring the soul the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple the precepts of the lord are right rejoicing the heart listen you're hearing the, this the the quality of this relationship with the word and with god the commandment of the lord is pure enlightening the eyes the fear of the lord is clean enduring forever the judgments of the lord are true they are righteous altogether they are more desirable than gold yes than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the drippings of the honeycomb so more valuable and precious to us than riches and sweetness all right so john uh 14 21 uh jesus had this to say he who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me and he who loves me be loved by my father and i will love him and i will disclose myself to him you want to know jesus better walk in his ways all right properly received god's word will transform us in the course of life in other words as we walk it out okay and so deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 6 through 9 uh, this is now after the Ten Commandments have been given, and here's what Moses tells the people in the Word of God. These words which I am commanding you today shall be upon your heart. Very important. Hard to do with the rest of it until you've done that. You shall teach them diligently to your sons and daughters, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontals on your forehead knows part of every deed and every thought you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates okay so psalm 119 we're gonna spend some time here all right the great song of the preciousness of the word of god all right uh the longest chapter in the bible 176 verses all right and we're going to start down this road and we're going to mix it in for the next several weeks uh to take a look at things in psalm 119 god's word is described in many ways uh in uh, psalm 119 and just in the first couple of parts of it here it's organized by the letters of the hebrew alphabet all right uh, already it's called the law the torah okay it's called the testimonies the ways the precepts the statutes of god the commandments of god the mitzvahs okay 
and uh, 600 and some of those. All right, so judgments and ordinances. Okay, this is what it's called. Now, th but then this core is that, that we need to respond to what God has revealed. And here's the words that are used to talk about how we ought to respond to what God has revealed us. Walking, observing, seeking, doing, or not doing, keeping, looking, thanking, learning, treasuring, telling, regarding, rejoicing, and meditating. Okay, just to, to understand, you know, this positive way of responding to what God is saying to us, you know, these ways of saying yes to God. All right, so um, we need a right and loving heart uh, that way. This whole uh, psalm is spoken to God. All right, all right, so uh, again, it's uh, Psalm 119, 1 through 8. This is the, the first letter of the alphabet and what's uh, arranged there. How blessed are those whose way is blameless or complete and, and full of integrity, okay, who walk in the law of the Lord. How blessed are those who observe, they guard it, they keep it, his testimonies, uh, who seek him with all their heart. They also do no unrighteousness. They walk in his ways. You have ordained your precepts that we should keep them diligently. It's the idea of diligence. You know, it's, you know, poking with a fork and, and tenderizing a piece of meat or, or taking a poker and, and stirring up the embers again. It's this idea of turning something over and making sure that you don't miss any parts. All right, that, oh, that my ways may be established to keep your statutes. That I, then I shall not be ashamed when I look upon your commandments. In other words, you know, when you look at the totality of what God is asking for and realize, I, I'm, I'm certainly not uh, claiming perfection here, but I, I, I am aware of and I am addressing in my life uh, these things that God has revealed. I don't have to be ashamed when I look at it. All right, I shall give thanks to you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. I shall keep your statutes. Don't, do not forsake me utterly, okay? And so then the second part here, under the second letter of the alphabet, how can a young man keep his way pure or innocent, translucent, where you don't have to hide things all the time? By keeping it according to your word. With all my heart I have sought you. You know, the duplicitousness, this, this, you know, kind of, uh, you know, we're, we're hypocrisy, if you will, of humanity that, you know, we're always having to hide the things we don't want people to notice. Okay. And he's saying we can be set free from that. All right. And so uh, keep it in, uh, according to your word with all my heart. I've sought you. Don't let me wander from your commandments. Your word I have treasured in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have told of all the ordinances of your, of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. I shall delight in your statutes. I shall not forget your word. And if we're not going to forget word, his word, it's good that we begin by knowing his word and knowing it more thoroughly with each passing day that we can walk in ways that are pleasing him and, uh, and in the course of life be transformed by God and his word. And with that, I'm going to say God bless you. We'll see you next time on the 10-minute video summary.